This is my boysenberry mulberry. And it's supposed to be a very good variety that has a little more tart and grows fast, but we apparently don't get enough cold chill hours for it here. So it does, you can be a 9B the same as I am, but I would say if you get around 300 chill hours or more, you could grow boysenberry, Illinois Everbearing. Let's see, what other one is not waking? Um, let's see. Oh, maple leaf that I got from Bass at Trees of Joy. That is a really, really good long mulberry. Very delicious from what I've heard from Marta. But we don't get enough chill hours here for it. So let me see. The Dave Wilson white fruiting is not awake and we've had an unusually cold winter already and it's no sign of waking up so we don't get enough chill hours for that i would say you know three four hundred you would be good with that one in a 9b just check your chill hours go to chill hour calculator put in your zip code and it'll give you a good idea of what your chill hours are you know they go up and down but gives you a good idea so here is my maple leaf, and it's starting to wake up. So even maybe if you had 200 chill hours, we just don't get quite enough. It doesn't wake really well, and it may put on a handful. I mean, not even a dozen fruit. And it just, chill hours I'm sad about that one because it's supposed to be really delicious so this is one called maple leaf but it's bass's maple leaf there's uh, several out there under the same name that are different um, and then of course my Morris Nigra have not woke up but they do wake I'm amazed it's black beauty black beauty and Persian and they do wake up and give me enough for it to be worth having them, even though they don't grow well here. Five foot tall and they're five or six years old. But again, I believe we also, if we just had a little more chill hours, they would do excellent. And then Wachisas or Wachisa is also one. It's supposed to be really good. Grows well here for me, but it doesn't fruit. So I would say about 300 or so chill hours or more and you'd be great with that one. And there is my gorgeous Pakistani blacks loaded with mulberries. This is the one from Dave Wilson, beautiful tree. This is my black serenum cherry. This is a seedling from here and it's loaded with blooms. We have a hedge of them that's probably close to 75 years old and this one came up and it's black and it's really good. And this is one, doesn't look the best right now. It's one from Burnt Ridge, which is also a Pakistani black. And then this gorgeous one here is my Ellie Cook's variety. It seems that everything that I have that's Ellie Cook even if I have several from different nurseries, the Ellie Cooks grow better and do better. I have no idea why, but seems to be the case. And it's a shame that nursery had to go out of business after so many years. Love my Ellie Cook things. But this one is also loaded. Look at this. Amazing. Just loaded, so sweet and delicious. Tastes like grape jelly. All right, have a great day. Plant lots of fruit trees. Central Florida's on 9B.